Trust your first impression. Who do you imagine is there? Train station. A train station. Very good. Let's find out about this train station. What does it look like? A uh, western. Mm-hmm. A western train station. Mm-hmm. Has wood. The whole place is made out of wood. Mm-hmm. And it has the railroad tracks at the edge. Tell me more. Looks like some storefront. What do you think they sell in that store? The tickets. Mm-hmm. Boots. Mm-hmm. That's all I see. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? No. No. So how is it that you're observing this place? Are you observing it from on the ground or from above? I'm floating. You're floating. Very good. So since you're floating, we can float anywhere. So let's find out what's going on with these train tracks. Where are they going? They just go off in the distance. Mm -hmm. I just see telephone poles. Long railroad track. Mm -hmm. Do you see any people in this place? Yes, a few. Mm -hmm. What do they dress like? See a lady. She got a big dress. Mm -hmm. Purple. Big purple dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What an umbrella. Just it's not raining. She's just for the sun. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that this woman? What social class is she in? Pretty high, mm -hmm. the, the way she's dressed. Yes. Is she going any place? It looks like she's waiting for the train. Mm -hmm. Who else do you see there? Some bags beside her. Okay. What else looks interesting about this? And, uh... She's wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. I'll say it's purple. Mm -hmm. Like the whole outfit is purple. The whole outfit is purple. Purple, uh, white. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more about this woman. Can you get closer? Yes. What does she look like physically? She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. White skin. Not too red, but red lips. Mm -hmm. Can you see her eyes? Green. Mm -hmm. Look at her eyes and see if perhaps you recognize her. From anybody that you know. No. Okay, very good. What else is interesting about this woman? I don't know, she's just, she's just standing there. Okay. So let's advance the scene a little bit and let's find out what happens next. Advance the scene and tell me what happens. Tell me if the train comes. No, it doesn't come. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens. What happens to this lady? Looks like it's starting to get dark. Mm -hmm. What happens next? She decides to go walking. Mm -hmm. What, where'd she go? She went to the right of the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. She got tired of waiting. So let's follow through and see what happens. 
Tell me everything that happened. She continues to walk the, the tracks. Mm -hmm. Walking, looking behind her. Making sure the train is not coming. Mm -hmm. Does she have her bags with her? Yes, just just one. Mm -hmm. She's going around a bend, mm -hmm. like a corner. Mm -hmm. She's looking at a tunnel. Mm -hmm. Where does this tunnel lead to? I don't know. She's she's just looking at it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to go through it because it's it's dark. Mm -hmm. Not too dark, but it's starting to really. She's scared to go through. Mm -hmm. She's looking around. What happens next? Seems like she feels someone's looking at her. Mm -hmm. She decides to turn around and walk back, but a guy steps in front of her. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? So it's just saying, what's a pretty lady out doing by herself? She starts to push her around. Mm -hmm. Now she turns around. There's another guy there. The guys are dirty. They have a hat on. Real dirty, like they work in the minefields. Mm -hmm. Shirt. Like, like a dirty brown. Mm -hmm. Like if the shirt was white, but then all that working just made it so brown. Pants, dark brown. Both of them are dressed the same. What happens now? They just keep making fun of me. Mm-hmm. How do you feel with these men? Scared. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to see hopefully somebody comes, a train or somebody. The guy pushes me down. Mm -hmm. The one that I ran into first jumps on top of me and decides to pull up my dress. The other guy's just smiling, not helping, just looking around, making sure they don't get caught. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Scared. I want to try to run away, but I don't have anything to grab to hit him with. Mm -hmm. What happens next? He's trying to rape me. What are you doing? I'm trying to get him off of me. What happens now? I'm just still trying to fight him off. Mm -hmm. Looks like the guy tried, tried to kiss me, but he, but he bit me in the face. Mm -hmm. Now he's choking me. Guess he didn't like to get spit on. Mm -hmm. You spat on him? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he tried to kiss me. 
This is the guy that's nasty. Mm -hmm. Nasty teeth. Ugh. The other guy's still laughing. What happens next? He gets up. And the other guy stops laughing. Saying, what did he do? Apparently, he didn't want to kill me, but he ended up killing me. Where are you when you're looking at this scene? Above. Mm -hmm. Just maybe like 15 feet above. Mm -hmm. Looking down. And she's laying down on the side of the tracks while they two just start arguing. What are they arguing about? Hitting. Hitting me to kill. To kill me. And the other guy does not want to go to jail because he murdered somebody. So what do they do? They just run up, run up the little hill, and they're gone. I'm just laying there mm -hmm. in the dark. What are you feeling? Sad. Saying I should have stayed on the tracks. Mm -hmm. I should have stayed at the, at the station. There's regrets there, aren't there? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did they call you in that life? What name do they go by? Jean. Mm -hmm. So Jean, what happens after? You leave that body, where do you go? I'm still walking around. Mm -hmm. Find out what happens next to you. Like I can see my body there, but I'm just still walking around. Mm -hmm. Just upset. Mm -hmm. How long do you stay with your body, Jean? A few hours. Mm -hmm. Did anybody find you? Yes. The passing train. It sees me in the distance and it starts to slow down. Are you on the tracks? No, on the side. Mm-hmm. Because the conductor is so high, he can see down. Mm -hmm. But the hill is not, it's not too steep. So what happens with your body next? They start to look around, check if I'm okay, but they see that I'm dead. My belongings are still there. Do you feel that you're dead, Jean? Yes. Mm-hmm. What happens next? They take my body and put it on the train to take me to the next station. I'm in a coffin. It's open, wooded. <laughs> they have me out because they don't know who I am. Seeing if anybody recognizes me. Does anybody recognize you? No, just the killers. Mm -hmm. Were they there? Yes. 
They're looking at everybody's shocked face. Mm -hmm. How could someone do this to a lady? How do you feel about these killers looking at you? Pity. Why is that? They didn't know what they were doing. Can you forgive them for that, Jean? Yes. So what happens next? What happens to your soul? Where do you go now? I'm just still looking at the casket. Mm -hmm. No one came for me, so they caused it up. And they buried me. In an unmarked burial grave? Did they mark this grave at all? No. How does that make you feel? It doesn't matter. It's already done. Mm-hmm. It's next to a fence. Where is this place? What's the name of this place? name I can't see. Mm -hmm. I know it's by a church. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the cemetery there's a big, big like statue. Mm -hmm. What's the statue of? Looks like a cross, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a small cross on top. Then it has a, a pillar in the bottom and it goes up and then the cross. Mm -hmm. Small cemetery, probably like 50 people. Mm -hmm. What state are you in? Do you Arizona. Know? Arizona. So what happens to you, Jean, after they bury you? What happens to your soul? Where do you go? See a light. Mm-hmm. Where is this light coming from? Just off in the distance. Mm -hmm. It's like a tunnel. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should go to it or stay with the body. Why do you hesitate? Because I feel like I still want to live. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? I go to the light. Mm -hmm. What do you find there, Jean? Just as bright. It almost seems like when I walk in, it closes right behind me. Mm. Like a door, but it's not a door. It's a light door? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The big circle. And it just closes. So what's on the other side of this light? Just a long white tunnel. Mm -hmm. Not really a tunnel, it just opens up down to a big hallway. Real big. Mm -hmm. That's all I see, it's just white. So it's a big white hallway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens as you go through this hallway? I see a group of people. Mm -hmm. Do they look any any particular way? Just white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like light, like a like almost like a shining crystal. Mm -hmm. How 
many are there? There are lots of them. Mm -hmm. They're all laughing. Why are they laughing? This looks like they're having a good time just talking. Mm -hmm. Not because of me. Mm -hmm. They don't see me yet. Everybody looks the same. What do you look like, Gene? I look like them. Hmm. I'm pretty. What do you look like? It's a nice shiny crystal. I keep turning my hands over and looking at them. Mm -hmm. And just like, wow. Describe them for me. It's like a crystal that I can see through to the floor. Mm -hmm. But I still have fingers. Everybody else still look like if they're human, but they're crystals. Mm -hmm. Like the whole place is made of crystals. The tables, the glasses. It almost looks like I entered a bar. Mm -hmm. A crystal bar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do they do in this place? I don't know. Just, everybody's just having fun. Mm -hmm. Just talking. Let's see if anybody notices you. I hear a guy calling. Mm -hmm. His voice sounds male. Welcome back. He knows me, but I don't recognize him. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? He just asked me how, how was everything? How do you feel about it? Fine that I'm in here. This place is so pretty. It almost seems like their life didn't really matter once you once you see this. Does this feel like the real place? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. He's talking to me, but I'm just looking around in awe. Tell me what you see around. Just everything's made out of crystals. Describe this place. You said it looks like a bar, but what do you see there? It's like the walls off in the distance are, are like crystals that are stacked on top of each other <coughs> to make a wall. Mm -hmm. And then there's some floating. Almost makes it look like they're chandeliers. Hmm. Are they just floating? Do they emit any type of light or energy? No. Just pretty? Just pretty crystals. I mean, they do have a a glow, like if it's that's the light. What else? Let's sit down. With John. Mm-hmm. That's the guy they called. Mm-hmm. What does he tell you? It's been a while. He 
guess we were friends before. Mm-hmm. You don't recognize him yet? No. Mm-hmm. Does he know that? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm still worried about human form and how re- how humans recognize one another. Mm-hmm. Is everybody here? Is they look the same? They're crystal. Mm-hmm. So how do you recognize each other? Emotional. Mm-hmm. You connect with them emotionally. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what happens now with John? We're drinking. What do you drink? It seems like water, but it tastes really good. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's water, though. It tastes good. Mm-hmm. Is it a sweet taste? or? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just me and him at the table. Mm-hmm. Still looking around. Do you feel confused still? No. It's just I'm home, but mm-hmm. it's been so long. So what happens next? We get up and we go for a walk. Where do you walk to? What does it look like? Outside of it. It's wow, so many colors. What's it look like? It's like a forest, but it's a city. Mm-hmm. But there's so many different colors. It's like everything is like rainbow colors. Mm-hmm. Do you see it's a forest, but a city? What is it? What is it exactly? It's, they mix nature into the city. Hmm. That they're both kind of one, but they're still crystal buildings. There's flying machines I can see. Mm-hmm. They just move around. Mm-hmm. Sort of like Teardrop shape. Mm-hmm. So these flying machines are teardrop. Yeah, most likely, like vehicles, mm-hmm. personal vehicles. Mm-hmm. What it, color are they? I can't tell. Mm-hmm. Are they going fast? Yes. Mm-hmm. The trees look like big bonsai trees. Mm. Like that type of beauty. Yes. Do they grow naturally like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they themselves are beautiful? Yes. We're just walking. Wow, this place is beautiful. Describe everything. Don't leave any details out. It's like the grass is growing through the crystals. The grass grows through the crystals? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not really like a nuisance like it is here. Mm -hmm. It just adds to the beauty. Mm -hmm. What colors are these crystals outside? A white. Like a clear, transparent. Mm -hmm. And is the grass? Grass is really green. Mm -hmm. Flowers. Weird colors on the flowers, but they're beautiful. Are these flowers that you recognize are different type flowers? Different types? Mm-hmm. It's the most unusual one. It's just the colors. Mm-hmm. In the meadow they have this long yellow. Guess what would the 
our bees get honey from, mm -hmm. but it's really long, and each petal is a different color, mm. like rainbows. Some of the petals have like three or four different colors. Are there many flowers? Yes, there are a lot. And you say that the 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 buildings are crystals within the forest? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are these buildings for? What do you suppose is in a building that you see in the forest? I don't see anybody in them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just part of the structure. I just know they're towering, they're big. Mm -hmm. How tall do you feel they are? Six, seven hundred feet. Mm-hmm. What else is around? Crystal Bridge. So what is it that you and John are talking about? We're just walking, holding hands. Mm -hmm. I guess he's letting the shock set in. Mm -hmm. It happens. Why is that? That first transfer over. Mm -hmm. It's like, you gotta remember this is where you're from, not where you just came from. Mm -hmm. Does this place have a name? I don't hear a name. Mm -hmm. Just home? Uh, Is this a physical place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it a planet? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's your home? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you said that it was your first transfer over. Had you not ever left this place before? No. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to go to planet Earth as a woman who got killed? They're strong. Mm -hmm. Did you want to experience that? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's saying women has so much power than men do. Mm -hmm. What kind of power? More intelligence. She says, how can you not like something that can control a man and have them do what you want? Mm -hmm. But you weren't able to control those men who raped you. Sometimes it has consequences, beauty. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that life now, that you're back home? I'm just happy to be back. Mm -hmm. So much love here. Mm -hmm. Have you met any other friends, or just John? Just John. So let's find out a little bit about your life on this planet. Where is it that you live on this planet? Let's go there and see. How it is that you live here? It's like a cave. Mm -hmm. It seems like everything on the planet is made out of crystal. Mm -hmm. You could almost think it's winter, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's nice. What does this cave look like? 
just a big empty space and it has a place to sit. Mm-hmm. No stuff. Just empty. What do you do here? Just looking around. Mm-hmm. What else do you see? There's a room. Mm-hmm. Describe it. It just has a bed there. Mm-hmm. It's on the floor. What is the bed made out of? A soft material. Hmm. Really soft. It almost feels like when you lay down if you put your hand on it, you can roll right over the top of me and think you're still on the bed. Mm. It takes perfect shape. It takes the shape of your body? Yes. Mm-hmm. How thick is it? Three inches. Mm. So it's small. It's, a, it's mm-hmm. not very thick. No. But it feels very soft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else do you see in this dwelling of yours? Lights. Mm-hmm. What are the lights made out of? They're inside the crystal walls. Mm-hmm. They just beam, beam into the room. There's no switches, they just come on. Mm-hmm. How do you turn them on and off? Thinking about it? Mm-hmm. Just with intention? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm playing with the lights. Mm-hmm. Do they turn on quickly or do they glow on and off? How does it work? Oh, they turn on. Mm-hmm. And it's just part of the walls? Yes. Almost makes it like the room just lights up with it. Mm-hmm. What else do you see there that's interesting? That's it. Mm. What is it that you eat? Do you need any food? No. Because you were drinking before. That's the only thing we need. Mm. You only need to drink? Yes. How do you get your energy? It's from that drink. Mm. What is that drink made out of, do you know? It just provide nutrients mm-hmm. that we need. We're simple. Mm-hmm. Do you have a name on this planet? No. I can't hear it. Do you have a partner? John. Mm. John is your partner. Does mm. he live with you? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what kind of life do you have with John now that you're back home? Do you have responsibilities there? No. This place is just, you can just, you're free. It's so freeing. Mm-hmm. Now, before you went to planet Earth, did you make that decision to go on your own? Or did others make that for you? I wanted to see what it was like. Mm -hmm. So let's go now to the moment where you decide to come back to planet Earth. I want you to close that scene, and now let's go to the time when that decision is being made. Be there now. I'm in a room full of people. Mm -hmm. Those chairs are high. Like they're looking down, I'm in a hall. Mm -hmm. And they're all in a circle. 
What is this place? It's on my planet. That's where everybody goes. Mm -hmm. They wants to come and go to Earth. Mm -hmm. So tell me, describe more of this place. Who's there? Six. Mm -hmm. uh, six. They're all inside their chairs. They're real high. Gold. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? The same as me. Mm -hmm. Crystal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look like crystal humans? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are they male or female? No gender. No gender. Mm -hmm. Are you by, your, by yourself in front yes. of these? Uh, they just ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Tell me what questions they ask. What are your interests in going to Earth? What do you want to learn? What do you uh, tell them? Experience something different. Something new. Are you bored on your planet? Yes, for now. Mm -hmm. What else did they ask you? How long do you want to stay? What do you tell them? Not too long. It's like a trip. What else? Does I want to learn forgiveness? Mm -hmm. You want to learn forgiveness? Yeah, that's what I heard her say. Mm -hmm. Who do you need to forgive? Just forgiveness. Mm -hmm. What's the next question? Just to experience mm -hmm. what life is as a human. And why Earth? What's different about Earth that people want to go to? Nature, the trees. Mm -hmm. But you have nature too, right? The beauty is a different type. Mm -hmm. The animals that you see. Do you have animals? I don't see any. Mm -hmm. Not even in the sky. There's so many different birds on Earth. Mm -hmm. Beautiful ones, ugly ones. Mm -hmm. They're all beautiful though. What else do they ask you? That's it. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Are you able to pick your parents? The location on Earth? No. How do you get to Earth? I'm back in that same, that same bar. Mm -hmm. I guess that's, that's the welcome center. Mm -hmm. This is also the exit. Ah, is there some sort of a portal there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone there? If I go through. I see that I'm a baby already, mm -hmm. so I'm not stepping forward, I'm just looking. So you already see 
It's on the other side of the portal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you see the baby when it's birth or before? Oh, it's already there. It's mm -hmm. being held. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts before you leave? I better hurry up and go. Mm -hmm. Then I'm back to being a baby. Mm -hmm. A blonde hair, green eyes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Are you a male or female? A female. Mm -hmm. This is the life that I described to you. Mm -hmm. I'm just a baby now. Tell me about that life. What's important about that life? The forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened that you need to forgive. Uh, my murder and the, the railroad, mm -hmm. the train tracks. Mm -hmm. When I wanted forgiveness, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be for my murder. Mm -hmm. Did you know that going in? No. So where are you now? Just being held. I'm still a little baby, just looking. Mm -hmm. So let's go forward in that lifetime. I want you to close that scene and go forward to find out why it is that you were found that you found yourself on those railroad tracks why were you leaving home adventure mm -hmm. how old are you when you're leaving home 19. Mm -hmm. oh so beautiful Men would always stare, but very respectful. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling from that, Jane? I'm back at the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. Just where I started, mm -hmm. waiting for the train. That was my first time leaving home. Mm -hmm. Do you have any regrets? No. Do you understand why you chose that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive those men now, knowing that this is all part of the plan? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Jean. I want you to give me all of that those feelings that you have felt, all that guilt, all that remorse, anything that you felt the moment that you were going through that experience, doubting yourself, give it all to me. You know now that it was divine plan for you to forgive. Tell me when I have it all. Yeah. Good. Let's take that all out. And now, Jean, what would you like to put in your heart? Love. Let's put lots of love. Feel it going in from their head to your toes. Feel all that love for yourself and for others, knowing that this was just part of a plan to learn, to experience, to forgive. Can you forgive yourself now, Jean, for having thought anything different than love in your heart? Yes. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene now. And let me now connect with the higher self. He also press you, sir. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So I'm going to tap your shoulder and that will indicate that you will open your eyes. You will remain in this trance until you come back. And when you come back, you will close your eyes and go even deeper than you are right now to connect with your higher self. Eyes open. Hmm. You're doing very well. Interesting. When you're ready, let me speak with your higher self. Do I have permission to ask questions of the higher self? Yes. Thank you. Now, he says that ever since he was young, he's always had these dreams of these railroad tracks and also of people choking him. Were these remembrances of that life? Yes. Okay. What were you trying to show him? His like, lessons. His lessons? His but lesson he, to forgive. But he wasn't getting it. Yes. <laughs> now he is. Now he understands. Yes. Okay. Would you tell me why he's had um, less the, these dreams about a medieval castle? What's that all about? One of his lives. Mm-hmm. You didn't show him that one today. What was the purpose of that one? None. None? None. Okay. Now, she, he says that um, he wanted to know what his purpose was in this life. To help people. Mm -hmm. Is he doing it now? No. Mm. What's going on with him now? Confused. Mm hmm doesn't trust himself. Well, he says he feels lost. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is he lost? He lost his way. Mm -hmm. When did he do that? He lost the career that he loved the most. Mm -hmm. He has to do something else now. Why did he struggle so much? in that career? His path was not to reach where he wanted to. His to learn a lesson mm -hmm. and to help others. Mm -hmm. Lesson being forgiveness? Or is this a different lesson? Different lesson. What lesson is he supposed to learn? Survival. Mm -hmm. So many of his brothers Mm -hmm. Commit suicide. Mm -hmm. So it gives them strength as well. Just like he battled it. Mm -hmm. And he understood it. He saw it as a storm. A storm that just comes and goes. Mm -hmm. But he has thought about it many times. Mm -hmm. So who was there keeping him from going back home? Me. Mm -hmm. What were you telling him? It's a storm. Mm -hmm. Just look at it, it's raining. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't drown just because it's raining. Mm -hmm. And when you travel in airplanes, you always know that the storm is below. There's always sun shining above. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, did he come into this life for this sole purpose to help other people through these storms? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that why he got hurt? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why so dramatic? He has to walk in their shoes. Mm -hmm. No one wants to hear a story of somebody that doesn't ex have experience yes. of what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So they, that's why he was injured? Yes. Mm -hmm. They connect better. Mm -hmm. But this injury is keeping him from having a normal job. He will be fine. Mm -hmm. He just has to trust in what we got him mm -hmm. and what we told him to do. 
share his story. Is that why he needs to write about it? Or does he need to talk about it? Both if he can. Mm -hmm. But he feels it's like there's so many other people. Why? Why me? Mm -hmm. Yes. He doesn't even know about why me. Just, just do it. Mm -hmm. So he picked this life as a soldier in order to help others. Yes, he loves helping others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the reason why he has PTSD? To help him relate better. Mm -hmm. So he can understand exactly what everybody else is going through. Mm -hmm. and the triggers and everything else like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. He manages well. Does he need this? Needs what? The PTSD. Does he need to be reminded? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell him why. The scars. Mm -hmm. To know what you've been through, what you survived. All warriors have scars. Mm -hmm. What's a warrior without a scar? <laughs> Never been tested. That's true. That's true. So it's an emotional scar. And yeah. a physical scar that he has. Yes. Mm -hmm. He would be fine. Mm -hmm. He's learned how to work around it. Now he's been given a lot of different things that he's seen in his life. For example, he has always seen the number 1134. What's that number all about? Love. Love. Forgiveness. Mm. There was a time he didn't love himself. Mm -hmm. As a failure. He would always tell himself, I'm a failure. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to live out my dream. I wasted my time. But every time we show him that, because I tell him that we love him. Mm. So it's kind of like a, a text message to him. Yes. 1134, texting him and telling him, we love you. Yes. Keep going. That's when his mind is at ease the most. Mm -hmm. When he's winding down. But he says that he feels lost. We've given him direction. Mm -hmm. We're going to give him direction today. Okay. What direction would you like to give him today? To get started on talking, recording, writing, share his story. He feels good when he's talking to his friends that he exercises with. Mm -hmm. And how they love telling each other stories of their journey of what they're going through. He doesn't realize it. Reading does the same. Mm -hmm. You just reach more people. So does he need to record these conversations? Best for him. Mm -hmm. Now he's been told by psychics that he was going to get uh, more money in the future. Will he be fulfilling his dreams of getting more? It's the outcome of writing. Mm -hmm. It's not to win the lotto, mm -hmm. what she keeps trying to play. <laughs> I mean, who does not dream of it? Yes. But no, he won't get it that easily. Okay. He needs to work at it. Yes. Okay. And help. Because even though he wants money, he still wants to help with that money. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like seeing people struggle. Mm -hmm. Good people. And he wishes he can take all their suffering away. Or just secretly, just paying for their house. Or buying them a car so they can get to work. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't want recognition for it. He just wants to help and see people happy. He's seen too much suffering in the world. 
He says that he feels people. He feels their emotions, even his dog. And that triggers him. He doesn't like to feel that. Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. Can you tell him about that? As a connection. So he knows that there's more to this world than just what he sees. Mm-hmm. This is something that he feels. It doesn't matter what anybody tells him. That that's fake, this is fake. He can't fake what he feels. Mm-hmm. Is that one of his superpowers? Yes. What else does he have? What other powers does he have? That's it. That's it? Being able to connect with people, empathize yeah. with them? Yes. Mm-hmm. He would love to communicate with animals, but he can't do that. Mm. Well, his dog seems to be communicating quite a bit with him. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's the special relationship that those two have? She's been with him before. She has? Yes. Mm-hmm. As other animals? No, just her. Okay. She loves him. Is this from different lifetimes? Yes. Okay. So what's the reason why she's with him this time? Same thing. Mm-hmm. He loves her. She's a teaching tool always. Mm-hmm. As a dog, they show unconditional love. And that's where he learns it from. Ah, mm-hmm. If something so small can love you so great, it is easy for you to do it too. And she loves so much. They, he can't even keep up with her. But he tries. So she's his teacher. Yes. Good. Does she have a message for him today? Just keep loving. Mm. But she says that she's very needy. He, his hand cramps up from all the belly rubs. Yes. <laughs> Emma. She loves belly rubs. Uh huh. So, can we get a message to her sometime that uh, the belly rubs can be a little bit too much on him physically? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. He tells me that he sometimes when he's sleeping, he feels like he's dropping. What's go- what's going on with that? Another dimension. Hmm. He's going into a different dimension. Yes. Is this a is this a good thing? He hasn't experienced it yet. Okay. That would be vivid. He would get to see things. Mm-hmm. He's in no danger. No danger, okay. So, what would be the best way for him to experience this without just, any fear? Just relax. Mm-hmm. He's brave. Just relax and know that not, no harm will come to you. Mm-hmm. Good. And... Uh, he says also that, well, we already discussed that he he feels bad around negative people, and since he is supposed to be helping them, how can he overcome this? Well, there's, I guess the best way to put it is toxic people. Mm-hmm. Negative people he can impact and have them change their ways. Okay, just Other, by talking? Yes. Other people are real toxic, they're real hateful. And that type of energy, he doesn't want around him. He doesn't need him. He starts to view like that. And it breaks his head. Why? Why? Why do people view people like that? Why can't everybody just love each other? It feels so good to love. Why are people so hateful? Mm Mm-hmm. Like we're all one. So what would you recommend for anyone who has to deal with toxic people? Just try. Try to change their ways. Mm -hmm. Different perspective, you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're meant to do? To change other people? To help. Mm -hmm. We can try to help. We can never change. They have to change. Mm -hmm. We can only help and guide. Okay. He wants to ask about the future. And he also wants to know how many past lives he's had. 
Can you tell them first about the past lives? He's had many. Mm -hmm. Too many to count. <laughs> and he keeps saying, I'm done. This is my last ride. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come back. I don't like it here anymore. If he comes back, he wants to go somewhere else. Like a different planet or something. Mm -hmm. But Earth, there's too much suffering here. He's had enough of it. He just wants to be happy. He's seen the worst of humanity. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get him to see the best in it. Is that why you brought him here today? To tell him that? Yes. It's all lessons. He understands it. But it's just too much suffering. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like to see people suffer. Animal suffering. Yeah. All for the sake of greed. Mm -hmm. Well, he was asking about what the purpose is of all of us souls. What is, what is the end game? What are we supposed to be getting from this earth experience? You answered it for him. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> Go ahead and repeat it. It's to enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's to the different experiences. He likes to play video games. Mm -hmm. He doesn't keep playing the same one, maybe two times, depends if the game is good. Mm -hmm. Now he goes out and buys another one, and then another one. When he gauges his fantasy, it makes him try harder at different things, different tasks. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with this, this life. It's to try different things, mm -hmm. enjoy different lives. Not everyone's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. It's just like in the game, but he's real good at playing games, so that's why this one's, he's finding it really hard. Mm. It's a challenging game. Very challenging. He gave himself quite a few uh, deficits. Yes. Mm-hmm. But he's doing well. Good. So what are his probabilities for the future? He wanted to be able to find out or see probabilities into the future. What would you like to tell him about that? Educating people. Mm -hmm. Helping. Spreading the word about his experiences. Mm -hmm. And helping them get through it. His generation and the next. So right now, he's 35. What do you see him doing when he's 45? Enjoying, enjoying what he built. Mm -hmm. I see a little boy, mm -hmm. and he doesn't want kids. Mm -hmm. but that's going to teach him how to love mm -hmm. even more. Describe this little boy to him. What does he look like? Just like him, just with curly hair. Mm -hmm. He got his mother's hair. She got beautiful curly hair. Mm -hmm. So is this boy in his future someone that he's known before? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is he? An old soulmate. Mm -hmm. And what about 20 years down? What do you see now? Just watching how proud he is of his son. Mm -hmm. And what he's accomplished. That's what he's missing. Mm -hmm. Even though he does not want to hear that. <laughs> That's part of the puzzle piece? Yes. Mm -hmm. He fights and kicks and screams. Everybody, when are you going to have kids? And he tells them no. 
I don't want any. But he will have one soon. Mm -hmm. So can you tell him who are the guides that work with him? It's me. Mm -hmm. His grandfather. Mm -hmm. Oh, great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Did he know his great grandfather? As a baby. Mm -hmm. He died when he was younger. Mm -hmm. I like seven years old. What does grandfather have to say to Jose today? I told him when he was in war to duck mm. and he ducked. He was in a lot. I was a soldier too. So you were the one who warned him? Yes. Mm -hmm. And saved his life? Yes. Mm -hmm. There was a ball coming up from the bottom. And I stopped it in the plate. It was going right to him. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, would, that would have been his the ending? He would have lost his legs. Mm -hmm. And we worked a lot on his legs. As a baby, I remember seeing him running around. He had this little boots on with metal. And so we straighten out his legs. He loves his legs. Mm -hmm. and he remembers that all the time. He got to enjoy to play football, basketball, run around, join the military, all because of those legs. We would have lost him if he would have lost a leg. Mm -hmm. Now, did he actually get hit by that? And you changed the the uh, the scenario, or did you actually stop it from happening? I saw the scenario, mm -hmm. and I stopped it. Okay, so you saw it played out with with him losing his leg. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did he have any part in that as a soul? for choosing that? No, just, just learned the experience. Mm -hmm. Already when he came back, they were already asking him, how did it feel? How did it feel? And he just starts laughing. He's like, you gotta let me relax. And then another call came out for him to go back out. Well, we didn't let that happen. Mm -hmm. We had his command to come in and tell him, no, just stay and relax. We'll send somebody else in your place. Mm -hmm. And he was so happy for it. So much stuff happened that night. Anything that could go wrong did go wrong. Mm -hmm. Two vehicles breaking down. Getting lost. Trying to find your way back. Mm -hmm. Was that on purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. To trust. And he would always pray. How does prayer help? It helps him. Gives him strength as well. Mm -hmm. He would pray to God and to cover him up with his hands. And to protect everybody. Not include, including himself. Mm -hmm. Everybody there would all come home safe. Give some courage, strength. And he'll pray for me too. And I'll be right there next day. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell all of those soldiers now that have been suffering so much from PTSD, from all of those those terrible things they had to experience, those shocks. You're not alone. There's help. Take it as a game. 
you can feel it going on, the battles in your head, just don't let them win. Soldiers are strong. They can conquer anything. They just need support. Sometimes the family doesn't give them support. Your brothers are always there. Whether they're to poke fun at you. Or just to lift you up. They're always there. It doesn't matter if it's from your old unit or new ones. New ones you get to share different stories. Hear what type of things they went through. Oh, that makes you laugh. Exercise. Exercise releases a lot of energy. It helps them out big time. Mm -hmm. Find different things to do to keep your mind occupied. The minute you sit, your mind starts to win. They're stronger than that. They've been through worse. A lot of the times they miss their family as well. Not their blood, but the guys they were with. They can really tap into other soldiers, other branches. They can poke fun at each other all they want. They laugh. They have a good time. That's all it's about. They gotta remember to enjoy life. Get the help you need. A stronger for you to get help than to sit at home and waste away. We have too much to offer to the world. Thank you. Now, when you say there's help, there's a lot of soldiers that are on medication right now to help them with their PTSD. Yes. What would you like to to say about that medication? Is that something that's helping them? No. It helps out very few. It's good to understand that what you're taking and to find different forms to help you. Medication, it's not like it used to be. Now there's too much stuff and it actually makes them worse. They don't need that. If they find medication, look for herbs. They'll get the help in herbs. Mm -hmm. Not some pill that's gonna make them more crazy. A lot of the time it's through exercising. Exercising makes you feel good. But since they came from a world of doing hard labor and hard PT, they don't want to do it anymore. They say, no way, I'm done. There's no more reason for it. But there is. They can run, they can lift weights, they can hit bags. And all that energy makes them feel good. Look what I accomplished. Look what I can do. Look what I still can do. And that being around a certain group of people, it makes you much better than any medicine could. So this is what Jose needs to do moving forward from this day is to instill all of this into his fellow soldiers. Yes. Mm -hmm. To help them out. Yes, he helped out one recently. Mm -hmm. He had a problem. He was feeling suicidal. And one person he hasn't talked to in so long. And now there's so much race relations. And he just, just steps in and it's like, hey, you know, they still look at each other as brothers, not what color skin they are. And this is what I did, he told them. This is what helped for me. The VA medication. He didn't like that. It made him feel like a zombie. So he found, his wife found him some herbs. Some medication and herbs to release stress and to get his mind back focused and that's what she did and 
he just took it for like a few months something that you can buy in stores and that helped out his depression and he gave it to the guy he said hey I'll go to the store here's this medication and work for me see if it works for you and he talked to him. a lot of people go through struggles and they don't they don't reach out you just never know who has the information you're looking for mm -hmm. but it's just if you ask for help your brothers will answer wonderful is there a reason why now that there are so many soldiers with this there's always been mm -hmm. it just now has a name okay before they just shell shocked mm -hmm. battle fatigue I mean they actually gave us so many names mm -hmm. but this war has been going on for so long and now they're paying attention to them more and more more explosions so more and more people are coming back injured mm -hmm. so now they're looking into it which is long overdue now, before all of these soldiers came in, into this body, what was the reason why they came in? Is there a, a more of a higher reason why all of these young men have chosen to go to war this time around? They love to help. They think they're doing a good cause. They want to believe they're doing a good cause. They know they're doing a good cause is up to other people who put them in those situations for them to be doing it for good the soldiers are born they know from the start that they that's what they want to do they love to do it it's not that they like to fight they want to hurt somebody they just see it as helping helping that little kid that little girl that woman that can't fight for herself they put these soldiers there to fight for them and they're willing to fight for anybody do you have a final message for these soldiers the fight is always continuous now you gotta fight for your life Fight to be happy. Search for happiness. Make that your mission. Find everything that you wanted to do, maybe as a child, that you were too poor to do, or just couldn't do it. Here's your opportunity. Take up a sport. Do anything. Anything you want to do. Travel. See the world for what it truly is. It's beautiful. Climb a mountain, set goals and reach those goals. Even if you don't make that much money, look forward to it for a year, two years. Put money away and you see that fulfillment that you get, it's going to be well worth it. And then once you've fulfilled, do it again. This time, someplace new or something new. And you will find out that the people you meet, who you encounter, it's going to be well worth it. Life is beautiful. Thank you very much. Do you have a final message for Jose? Enjoy. Enjoy your life. Be happy. Laugh. In the end, you'll be okay. Very good. Would you do a scan on his body before we finish with yes. the session? And tell me how his body looks.
His liver. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? He was taking something he wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. Damages the body. This was well off. A while ago. Mm -hmm. Makes him strong though. He doesn't do it anymore. Good. He got scared. So would you please begin the healing on his liver today? Yes. Thank you. And tell him so that he knows what you're using. He knows what he was using. No, what you're using to heal him. Oh, light. Mm hmm Tell me when you're done with that. I'm done. Good. Any other parts of the body that he needs attention? His lungs. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? The mold. Mm -hmm. Look at his lungs real bad. He's done a lot better. Exercising helps. Mm -hmm. So can you begin treating his lungs now? Yes. And get him, getting them back 100% to help? Yes. Thank you. And tell him what you're using for the lungs. Light. Mm -hmm. And tell me when you're done. I'm done. Good, thank you. Anywhere else in his body? That is it. Mm -hmm. And how is the injury in his head? Is that okay now? He still has problems. Mm -hmm. it's, he works through it the best way he can. Mm -hmm. Is there something that you can do to rewire all of the cells in his, in his brain so that they could start triggering correctly? So that he can get his memory back, his his uh, his thought process better, since he's going to be writing this book. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that he can have full recall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I know that you are working on his body um, with light. Can you explain to Jose where this light is? Is it in his actual body or is it is in his etheric body? It's divine. Mm -hmm. The divine body? Yes. Mm -hmm. So once you heal the divine body, then it, it reflects on his physical body? Yes. Mm -hmm. How long does that take usually for something for the divine to reflect back into the physical body? He has to keep his mind on it. Mm -hmm. So I can manifest inside him. Okay. So no doubting. Exactly. Just like he saw the lights being turned on and off in the crystal cave, yes. he yes. needs to set the intention to heal? Yes. Okay, good. So he knows how to do that. So each day, affirmations? Yes. Perhaps that will help him? Meditation. Mm-hmm. What else does he need to do? He has the crystal. Mm -hmm. He should hold on to the crystal as well. Very good. Put it underneath his pillow. Mm -hmm. He can sleep with it there. Okay. He used to do it, and then he just took it off. He's scared to break it. Mm. He just looks at it. He cleans himself with the crystal from time to time. Good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Jose today? Enjoy your life. Know that you're worth. Don't doubt yourself. I'm the one telling you to do stuff. Quiet your mind. Every chance you get, at least Twice a week, meditate. 
I would help him out. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Five wide awake now. Wide awake. <laughs> wow. Wow. It was amazing. Yeah. Did you expect anything like this? No, no. <laughs> kind of like you, you talk and your lips are moving. Yes. It's just, you can't even think. Like if you think is it's not what's what's happening. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's interesting. So how long do you feel you're on this journey? <sighs> 30 minutes. An hour and 43 minutes. Oh, wow. I feel short. That's pretty, incredible. Pretty incredible, huh? Yeah. So how does it feel to be hypnotized? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> not what you expected? No, definitely not. Do you feel zombie-like at all? Uh, no. What do you not, feel like? No. Feel normal? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So is this something that you want to share with others? I would. With, with cutting out, editing some personal information. A personal obviously. and a blur. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can do blur. <laughs> <laughs> we could cut out some, some personal stuff. Yeah. It was beautiful. Really beautiful. The life on the planet was amazing. It was... I, I Wow, the colors. I can't... It's hard to describe the colors. They don't exist here. Yeah. It's, I guess, the best interpretation is like a rainbow. Wow. But it's just beautiful yeah wonderful so let me disconnect you and let's say goodbye to everybody so that you can say what your experience is like okay. fantastic how did the sound work good good since you're since you're a crystal person yeah i got i actually got this one you got selenite this one is is that what you got yeah wonderful got one. well this is why you were told to to, to, um, do you need to use the bathroom again? Ah. Uh, Before we talk, are you okay? I'm good. You good? Okay. So let me get some light in here. You did fantastic. That is interesting. What? What's interesting? Just... The whole process? Yeah, because visualizing it. It, right, it kind of... Let me sit next to you. Scoot over a tiny bit, tiny, so I can keep you in the screen. Oh. Right there, right there. Okay. All right. Let me put this on. So at least we can talk. I think that'll... Are we here? Are we, are we good? Square? Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. So, what did you think coming in and now that you've had it? It's like I didn't understand the, the full... Uh, grasp of like hypnosis okay and what it was so tell like, everybody what you thought it was it's kind of like you fall into a, a deep sleep in yeah. the sense of dreaming and you kind of have like a a movie reel like yeah in a dream but in actuality it's not like that okay so what it's, tell everybody what it was like <laughs> it's kind of your thoughts <laughs> your thoughts are actually playing out in this movie that is actually just going with it and you're thinking uh -huh. to say just visualizing um the train tracks all of a sudden the train tracks just has a train on it but the only thing you visualize was the train track that's it yeah and so it just starts to play out it's just a different feeling it's hard to describe but it's not a dream but it's 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 a thought yeah it's it's crazy and what about your higher self interesting yeah i don't remember too much of it okay yeah. so you were kind of not there mm -hmm. uh, do you remember anything about any message to soldiers or anything like that a little bit yeah. It seems like your grandfather is the one that saved your life. Yeah. I kind of had a feeling about it. Yeah. He, he, they, they, apparently, there was a ball coming up from the bomb Actually, that was going to kill you. Uh, you know, mm. you're going to lose your leg. I actually have that ball bearing. You do? Mm -hmm. But they stopped it yeah. to where you didn't destroy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like, um, it's, it's pretty big. It's probably like that big. Uh huh. And, um, when the front end was gone and went down there and we looked at it and the trajectory was going straight up. So it's kind of like... How'd oh, that wow. happen? Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. So you know that was like a little miracle. You weren't supposed to be blown up and yeah. 
your grandfather told you duck and you did yeah and thank you <laughs> and then you hit your head or that thing fell on your head and yeah. the hatch knocked me out yeah so yeah. you you're here for a reason yeah. and we did a lot of work today okay good. so tell everybody you know what you think about this it's amazing you got definitely come down here and, and get it done and where are you from i'm from texas waco yeah so it would change your life well, just in, 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 in two hours it seems like because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're almost going on two hours now but in two hours it seemed to have changed a oh, lot of definitely. your perspective now you have been suffering with ptsd for a long time and people ask me um you know how this helps you so what now that you've been through this experience it seems like you're supposed to have PTSD mm -hmm. to help other people yeah. experience it. So mm -hmm. does that give you a different perspective of? Yeah, it does. It's kind of, um, you know what you're talking about. You know what? You can actually relate to what the person's going through. Right. And not just, I guess, a doctor saying this is what you're supposed to feel like. No, right. Just, a lot of the times talking with my buddies and they're like, oh, this happens to me. And you just like a light bulb goes off and you're just like, well, that happens to me too. And you think it's just you, but in reality, it's it's all of us. So yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's like some someone trying to describe childbirth that's never been through it, or exactly. something. Exactly. <laughs> you just, you just kind of wonder. Yeah, but. you wonder, but you haven't experienced yeah. it. Excellent. So you recommend this to other people? For oh, sure. definitely. Good. Definitely. Good. So if you would like a session with me, you can uh, come here to Miami, Florida, where I'm based out of. You can go to my website, albawyman.com very easy to sign up and I do travel all over the place and uh, you could sign up for my newsletter on my website to see where I'll be going to next and if I'm going to a city near you you can sign up and I'll I'll be there okay so until the next time <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope we get to meet you soon bye, bye. Uh...